welcome back to my channel today i am going to be creating this red and pink valentine's day makeup look this is the second makeup look that i have done for 2022 <laughs> so i'm doing like 14 days of Valentine's Day makeup looks, so I'm super excited to do the tutorials along with this since it is my first year on doing the tutorials. Um, so a lot, yeah, a lot to learn. <laughs> Most definitely a lot to learn. Um, so anyway, if you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Jessie and I absolutely love doing makeup, makeup tutorials, wig reviews. As you can tell, my wigs, I've got a total of like 30 wigs. Um, so yeah, anything makeup related, skincare products, anything like that. So and new products <laughs> um so anyway before we get started don't forget to hit the likes button and don't forget to subscribe all right so anyway we are going to go in with the famous jeffree stars blood sugar palette <laughs> so and we are going to use these two colors down here on the bottom, which are Prick and Cherry Soda. So um, Prick is going to be our base color. So we're going to apply that to our, just our whole entire lid. Um, so yeah. All right. So let's get started. I already primed my eyes using the Jeffree Star uh, concealer and then a little bit of his translucent powder. So that way the eyeshadow doesn't crack or create creases or anything like that. So I already did this eye and put the translucent powder on it. So we're going to just go right in with this prick color. I think I should use a different brush. I don't know why I grabbed this brush. Like, I don't even know. Alright. Let me see. Where did my blending brush go? Guys, I literally have, like, all of my brushes laying in front of me. And I can never just find them. Because I always overlook it. <laughs> And we're not going to blend all the way up to our eyebrows. So, I'm going to blend in circles. Circular motion. And then I'm tapping this color in. So now that we have that color worked in on our whole entire lid, we are going to take our circular brush, which is this one, and we're going to go in with that cherry soda color. And in this color, we are going to work into our crease. And then I'm tapping that color into the crease. Okay, so we are going to take a little bit of this fresh, neat color, and I'm going to blend that just on the corner of my eye to kind of darken this up a little bit.
Okay. So now that we've finished with that, I am going to do my cut crease and then clean my cut crease up with a cotton swab. And then, yeah, so that way we can have this fresh start for this pink color. And then I'm taking this and then my concealer. And I'm going to outline where I want to start my crease so that way I can work on cleaning it up. Okay, so now that I completely cleared off my um, crease, I'm going to go back in with my concealer to create that prime eyelid that we want to keep that pink on. Okay. I'm really trying to teach myself not to use my other hand, and it drives me crazy because I got into the habit of doing it, so every, like, I always catch myself trying to use it. get that one spot right there. There we go. It's like I could not get that one spot. It was gonna drive me crazy. Okay, so now that we have that color worked on, I'm gonna clean up my brush a little bit so that way I don't mix that pink and red in to get there. All right. So now I am taking my Malibu Barbie palette. Try not to blind you guys. We're going to work with these two colors right here. This light pink one and then this one right here. And I'm going to take that light pink one and I'm going to put that in that crease that we created. All right. Then we are going to take that follow by the or follow the sun color, and we're gonna work this right on top of this color. Okay, so then I'm gonna go back to my blood sugar palette. And I'm going to grab the reds that we were working with, and I'm going to blend the pink and the red in together. All right, so then we are going to do our, should I do my wing first or should I do my rhinestones first? 
Hmm. My wing is totally off point, guys. Like, it is so funny. Okay, I'll have to fix that. All right. So we're going to start with my wing. And I'm doing a dramatic wing. Okay, so we're going to have to blend more of that red in, guys. Alright guys, I had to fix this wing real quick because I just did it off camera. So then I'm going to take a little bit more of this red and I'm going to blend it up to that point for my wing. So that way it's kind of even. grab a smaller brush just a smaller one let's see trying to see if my points are even because it's not okay my love so next we are going to go in with our rhinestones I have to take this one off and redo that rhinestone.
This glue is so clumpy. I think I'm going to switch brands. Because I don't really care much for it. It's like a nightmare. Okay. Whoa. Now I'm throwing stuff. Okay. I got a rhinestone stuck to my cheek <laughs> or my chin. Okay, so next we're going to go in with our mascara, which I am using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which is my absolute favorite. All right, my loves. I had to take care of a situation. So, all right. So we are going to add our lash on, which I am using the 60 lashes that I get off Amazon. They're absolutely perfect for beginners and everything. I just like them because they're easy to put on and they're really pretty. So... All right, so now that we have that lash on, we are going to go in using our foundation and then our concealer and do the bronzing and blush and highlighter and all that fun stuff, you know? <clears throat> I poured way too much foundation. Way too much. Guys, I literally think I just glued my eyelashes together. I did. Okay. I was like, okay. <laughs> that was the first I've ever done that. All right, so now, guys, I was looking at TikTok and all of their makeup hacks and all this other stuff, and I don't have the liquid blush, the liquid highlighter, the liquid bronzer, any of that stuff. I'm a powder girl, so... So we're going to go in and I'm going to use my Jeffree Star Concealer. I'm going to bring it up this way. And then our lips, we're going to do one here. And then our nose, we're going to do right here. So I guess this is like the new trend. So yeah, we're going to do it here, which will lift. And then here, which will lift up here. 
So, and this is the result of it, which I really, really like. There's so much of a difference. So I'm going to blend this in and I'm going to go upward. Now we're going to smear this out a little bit using our fingers and then we're going to blend up. That blue spot, every time I turn around, it's like, all right. And then that is supposed to lift. So, and then we're going to take a little bit of this translucent powder with our sponge and we're going to use the side that we didn't blend in with our concealer and we're just going to dab this in instead of letting it sit and bake we are just going to dab this in underneath our eye and where we put our concealer all right so for our bronzer we are just going to use my powder bronzer because I need to get some new bronzer, which was the, the liquid kind and all that stuff. So in the next couple of days, I'm going to be Googling like the best bronzers to use. So instead of going all the way down, we're just going to take our bronzer and we're going to start like right at this part of our cheek and we're just going to go up. And then we're just going to do a little bit right here because I already blended in on my forehead. And then, of course, we're going to do right here on our jawline. And then I am going to get my R2, RT200 brush and I'm just going to gently blend this in using circular motions. And you want to blend up. You never want to blend down. You always want to blend upward. And same with this, but you want to make sure that when you're doing this part that you blend in with using circular motions and blend it into your hairline. So that way you don't look too goofy and you have like an un... Let me see, an uneven tan or, you know, you don't want to look ridiculous going out. So, but yeah, and then we're going to go over it and I'm going to dab what is left. I'm just going to do tapping motions and just do upward. And it's supposed to like lift up. See that lift? So, and then the same with blush. Instead of putting it right down here, we're going to go upward. So... And I guess this is supposed to be like the new trend, but this is normally supposed to do be done with liquid blush and stuff, but unfortunately I don't have liquid blush. I haven't found a brand yet that I want to try, So, but I really need to look more into it because I really want to try liquid blush and liquid bronzer. So yeah, we're going to start from here and we're just going to do tappy motions and we're going to go up. So we're putting that blush right where we want to we normally do our highlight. And then we're gonna go up and around. Okay. And I definitely wanna try that multi-chrome eyeshadow too. I really, really wanna try that because, oh my God, the colors are so freaking pretty and like you never really know what colors they're gonna be. like. One minute they look like a blue, and then you put them on, and they're like a purple. Like it's it's crazy. So I definitely want to try those. Like that is on my list of stuff to try this year in 2022. Is liquid blush, liquid bronzer, um, multi chrome, and all of that stuff. So I'm super excited because I really really want to try new products out that I've never tried before. So because this is only like my third year of doing makeup. So I'm new to this also. So, and then, yeah. So I really want to try the highlighter. I mean, I've used one liquid highlighter. And it was this, let me see. Elevere Liquid Highlighter Protection. Um, and I wasn't too fond of it because it caked really bad. 
So I'm just gonna take my finger and kind of blend. I don't know why I started using a brush. But I'm using my Glam Light, try not to blind you guys, my Glam Light, uh, I think it's the Cupcake Highlighter, which is like a really pretty purple. So I absolutely freaking love Glam Light's products. I am obsessed with them. If I could have every one of their palettes, I pretty much would have all of their palettes. So... And then look at that difference. It's so much of a difference whenever you apply your makeup this way because it like lifts your face. So I'm learning as I'm going, guys. I even learned, because I'm new to doing my eyebrows too. So I learned a hack that you mark here and then here and then here and then you just fill it in. So that helps me out so much on doing my eyebrows. Even though kind of like this one looks a little bit thicker than that one because... I messed up trimming up my eyebrows. So, like, I tried so hard to, like, fix them. But, yeah, it did not work. Okay, so next we're going to go in and I'm going to do my bottom lashes and my mascara. Or my waterline and my mascara. So, I was trying to debate if I wanted to go in and using a white eyeliner or if I want to go in using a pink eyeliner. So, I'm trying to, like, I don't know. <laughs> So we're going to try the pink one first, and I'm going to see how I like that one. That actually doesn't look that bad. So let's try a white one on the other side and see how... White's really not. Okay. I don't know which one I like better. I'm thinking the pink one. I'm really liking the pink one. Alright, so we're just going to go over top of that. And we're just going to fill this in with the pink one. And I think we're going to take some of that white. Then we're just going to line this up too to kind of blend both colors in. That way it creates like a lighter pink. Because I did that to this one. I already had the white and we I had to do both of them. So. And then we are going to go in with my lips and then my bottom lashes so let's do my bottom lashes and then we're gonna do my lips all right so then we're going to go in and do our lips. So I'm going to line my lips with just a nude lip liner. So I love my nude lip liners. Alright, so I'm like lost on whether I want to do my pink gloss or my red gloss. Red gloss, pink gloss. So I haven't used this red one yet, so I think we're going to use the red. I just want to see how pretty it is because I've not used this one yet. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh, wow. Okay, that is really
Wow. That color is absolutely gorgeous. And I got an eye teeth. Okay. Wow, that color is vibrant. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. This is definitely going to be one of my favorites. I am obsessed with that pigment. That red is just boom, girl. Wow. I am I am shook at this color. Oh my god, I did not expect it to be so pigmented. It is a bit of a drier lipstick, so that for I think it's a matte finish. I'm guessing it is a matte finish because it is um it doesn't really say, yep, matte red lipstick. So I am going to apply a little bit of a gloss on top of it. So I'm going to go in with my Glam Light uh, Icy Lips Glosses. <clears throat> if I can ever get it out, I always have issues getting this cup out. So I'm going to go in and just use the red clear one because it is a red clear. So Okay. All right. So now that we have our lips done and I am loving this red, I got it on my teeth, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god, I just got it more on my teeth. Okay. So now <laughs> that is like okay. Oh my god, it just keeps getting worse. Okay. So anyway, we're going to take my setting powder and I'm going to go in with my Bare Me, but I'm going to spray one of my beauty blenders with this. And then start at the highlighted point of my face, which is where we put my highlighter. And then my blush, my bronzer, and then we're just going to go in and just dab it everywhere. I am digging this red. So pretty. <laughs> Definitely a Valentine's Day lipstick for sure. Alright. 
So now that completes this look. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. If so, please give me a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. All right, bye guys.